Welcome to our YouTube channel, me Maran. Today I am going to show you how to change the BIOS configuration of HP laptop. This is HP laptop, HP Lightbook 840GS. This is the model number of laptop. Now I am going to show you how to configure uh, this laptop BIOS. The main problem of this laptop is showing some errors when I try to open this one. It shows some error. I will show you. Let me open with this one. Just I press the power key. This one is a such a nice laptop. You can see here the error. This is the error of this laptop. You can see here boot device. Boot device not found. Please install the operating system on your hard disk. Okay, I will do something. Just uh, this is the error, first error. Now I will press case, uh, space key. Yeah, it's starting. Now it's so like this. Now I will exit this one and then enter. Skip, skip key. Uh, then I will press F10 key. From here, F10 key. In this model of laptop, you need to press F10 to go on BIOS. Now again, like this scheme here, press enter, and then S. Now it goes on BIOS. You can see here the main security advance and then uefi device okay now main in the main bios event update system bios and then change the in time you can see here in main device then security create bios advance uh, we should go here. I will show something here. Secure boot configuration and then uh, press enter. You can see here configure legacy support and secure boot. You can see here this legacy support disable and secure boot enable. And uh, you have to press here something here and then go to the top and then press enter. Now again go to advance back from here and then boot option here you can see here in a down there is something here uefi boot order usp sata 2 ssd 512 gb this one is disabled yes and then the down one in this one legacy board support this one also disabled this one is enabled and this one is disabled. Now we need that we have to active this one legacy boot order. First of all, we have to we have to make this one active. Okay, just get to the back. Now advance and then uh, secure boot configuration. It will show here a legacy support enable and secure boot disable. Okay, this one there is a there are three category legacy support enable and secure boot disable. Legacy support disable and secure boot enable and legacy support disable and secure boot disable. Disable enable disable. Secure secure secure. Normally it will select it middle one this is support disable and secure boot enable this one this one is selected now we have to select the first one okay this is support enable and secure boot disable secure boot we need to enable the legacy support because the legacy support is disabled there that's why we have to make a legacy support enable and secure boot disable boot security no need it means this one selection and then after this one just press F10 okay from here you can press F10 and it will show here 
it will show here three options cancel no and s yes. just press on yes okay now the system will restart you can see here the system is going to restart here here broke by sp secure restart okay no need to do anything maybe it will oh now you can see here the windows is start to run okay thank you very much for watching please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you